We were all wondering how the market would respond after the worst December since 1931. And the market didn't disappoint. We just had the best January in over 30 years. And with this big of a bounce in that short of time, we wanted to take a look at the analytics behind if the individual investor is actually buying into this rally. We had another strong week in the markets with the S&P 500 up 1.62%, the Dow up just over 1.3%, the NASDAQ up 1.4%, and the Russell leading the way up over 2% for the week. And the Russell's also leading the way year to date up slightly over 12%. Also foreign and emerging had strong weeks as well. Foreign was up almost 1% and emerging markets up 1.74% for the week. And emerging markets is leading the way up 9.78% year to date. This week we wanted to take a closer look to see if the individual investor was really buying into the market rally. And we can do this through the AAII survey. The AAII survey is conducted by the American Association for Individual Investors. And what they do is they measure the level of confidence that individual investors have in the market. Now, historically, the average level of confidence in this survey comes in at 38%. So you could think of any number above 38% as investors being overly optimistic or overly bullish in the market. Anything under the number 38, investors are less bullish in the market and less confident. And after the five week rally, when we look at the numbers, Investors definitely aren't buying into the market rally, and we're currently at the level of 30%. Now you may think the higher the investor confidence level, the better, but when you actually look at the data from this survey, it's the exact opposite. Now we're currently in a five week rally in the market off of a 52 week low, which was put in in December, and the investor confidence level is at 32%. So we wanted to take a look to see if there were any other instances in the market where there was a five week rally off of a 52 week low with an investor confidence level under 40%. And since 1990, we were able to find six other times other than now. So now we wanted to take a look at each of these six individually to see how the market performed one year later. And five out of the six of those times were positive with a median return of over 18%. So now we wanted to take a look at the exact opposite scenario, where there was a five week rally put in off of a 52 week low and investors really bought into the rally and were overly confident above the 40% level. And since 1990, there were six times that this has occurred as well. And out of those six times, four of those years were negative and there was a median return of negative 15.7%. To wrap this up, it's actually a good thing that the individual investor hasn't become overly confident with this market rally. And if history can repeat itself, we could be in for a great rest of 2019. To begin the news, almost 50% of the S&P 500 has reported their fourth quarter earnings, and they're showing a 15.5% year-over-year growth rate. Now, this is right in line with estimates, but future earnings are being slashed by 2.6%. So the economic slowdown that we had mentioned in previous videos is starting to be factored in. Also last week, jobs numbers came out and they blew out expectations. The economy added over 300,000 jobs in the month of January, well above the expected 165,000 showing that the fundamentals of the U.S. economy still remain strong. And lastly, the biggest piece of news to come out of last week was that the Federal Reserve left rates unchanged and they backed off their statements as to having gradual rate hikes in 2019 and said that they're just going to remain patient and see what the economy is going to do. As soon as this news came out, the market rallied into the end of the week. Although a lot of the things that we talked about in today's video were very optimistic for the market, we urge everyone to remain cautiously optimistic as we still have a lot of political risk on the table. We have another possible government shutdown looming and also still no trade deal with China and the deadline for that deal is approaching quick. Thanks for watching and we strive to give you everything that you need to know about the markets in five minutes or less. Please like our Facebook page and share this video.